Hi, my darlings, how are you? This is gonna be for my Capricorns, and this is gonna be for the week of the 4th through the 10th of June. I would like to welcome everyone who is stopping by here to visit with me. Thank you for spending your time with me. I am really grateful, I'm appreciative, and I welcome you. I welcome you with an open heart. And I love you guys so very much. Thank you for everything. I will be using my Affirmators Tarot Deck. And to clarify, I will be using Tarot Decks, Cards with Meaning. Yeah, that's what it says. <laughs> so, Capricorn, let's see what messages we have for you. So Capricorn, this is going to be for you. The Page of Swords. I think somebody's looking at you. At your social media, at least. The Two of Swords. You got a decision to make. You're a little tied up. You don't know what to do right now. It has to do with love. Looks like the good kind of love. The Queen of Swords. There might be an air energy in your environment. This could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Or maybe you're just thinking about communicating to someone about love. The Tower. You may have some kind of little confusion. You might, you know, have a little shakeup in your environment. A towel moment. But remember, that's part of life. Up and downs. Bumps in the road. It's how we handle these moments. The Eight of Swords. You're going to feel tied up, pretty tied up after this happens. You may have some regret, so watch your words. The Six of Pentacles. But balance will be restored. And Page of Pentacles. You're going to have some extra stuff to do. Got to write the list. And then the moon. You're starting to see things clearer. So let's see. Whoops. The Page of Swords. On top of the Page of Swords comes the Four of Wands. Oh my, what is going on here? All right, let me fix this here. I haven't used these cards in a minute. So on top of the Page of Swords is the Four of Wands, some kind of celebration and happiness, and it has to do with love. I got the lovers on top of there. So on top of the pages of somebody who loves you, peeping at your page, your social media. So you got the Four of Wands and the lovers. But you got a decision to make. What is your decision? What is this decision you have to make?
On top of the Two of Swords, I got the Five of Wands, which is like competition, conflict, you know. But remember, conflict doesn't solve any problems. And then I got the Seven of Wands. I don't think this argument is going to last too long. You will be above your challenges. I think whatever is going to happen, you'll be fine. Maybe it's just a slight little communication issue. But you can turn it around. The five of wands and the seven of wands. On top of the two of swords. Maybe it's just a little communication issue. And then we got the two of cups. Two of Cups, Unified Love, got the Wheel of Fortune, and Knight of Swords. Something coming fast. Some kind of message. And you got a lot of good luck coming where this love is concerned. And it's coming pretty fast. I got the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Swords. On top of the Two of Cups. And then the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Top of the Queen of Swords is the Hermit and then the Empress. You're going to go with them? You thinking, or maybe there's abundance where this energy is concerned. You thinking about something, you're seeking the truth about something. But you're very independent. I got the hermit and I got the empress and there's abundance around you. And of course, I mean, you are Capricorn. And the tower, like with life, we got ups and downs. Nothing to lose sleep over. We got the emperor and then we got the star card. Whatever it is that you're going to feel that's going to shake you up, everything will be fine. The Emperor is about respect and leadership. And the Star card is about hope and keeping the faith and calm and everything that's good. So that tower moment won't last long. You got the Emperor and you got the Star card. You still, you know, sometimes you Capricorns like to stay in your head. So you got the Eight of Swords here. You're going to stay in your head for a little while, of course. And on top of that, you need to be patient with yourself. I got the Temperance card and the Tower again. You got to get out your head. Okay, you got to stop overthinking situations. The Temperance and the Tower. So for sure, there's going to be some kind of bump and it's going to probably shake you up, but it's not going to last long. And the reason I say it's not going to last long because I got the Six of Pentacles here. It's not going to last long. It's going to feel like it, it's going to feel sudden. And on top of the... Six of Pentacles is going to be the Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. So there will be balance. It's going to be some balance with where finances are concerned. I don't know if that's what the upset is about. Um, it could be in the form of a new career or a new job um, or some kind of new venture that will bring you prosperity. And then you got the Queen of Cups here. The Queen of Cups could be an, a water energy that's within your environment. This could be a Pisces, a Scorpio, or a Cancer. But there's balance. Balance is going to be restored. Just be patient when this tower moment hits, okay? It's just going to seem a little chaotic. But you will be okay. The Page of Pentacles now. Might have to start writing some things down because for some reason I think you're going to have some responsibilities coming. Um, I got the Four of Pentacles here and I got the Ten of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles and I got the Ten of Cups. Um, you're going to be saving some money. 
conserving what you have, you're going to find a balance. I think financially you will be balanced and you will find you a happy family and love and happiness in your, in your family environment. There will be happiness and love. That's how I'm going to say. And then the moon. And also your dreams are going to come true. Okay, you will feel content. And you're going to start seeing things clearly. I got the judgment card and I got the seven of pentacles. So with the judgment card, that's like rebirth. It's like, you know, like maybe you visited the past and maybe you did some healing and, you know, you released a lot of things. An awakening, you know, rebirth, renewal, feeling brand new again. And then the seven of pentacles. So whatever it is, whatever you're working on, it's going to pay off, all right? You're going to start seeing. You're going to start seeing changes, sustainable results. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves and I will chat with you soon, okay? And again, thank you so very much for spending time with me. Bye.